what up Dokoners? welcome back to Toonrami for another video on Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle. Alright guys, it is time to do the Super Battle Road itemless challenge. I've been seeing other YouTubers do it, I want to show off my abilities, and also see that I have the ability to do it. So I'm going to start with the team that I'm most confident with and most comfortable with, which is my Super Strength team. They're going to go in the Extreme Physical Super Battle Road and give it a shot. Unfortunately, I started the Super Battle Road before I actually recorded the video, so you will be introduced to the team as we begin fighting, which is probably better. You don't want to be sitting in the menu screen waiting for me to shut up and actually do the Dokkan. So here we go. I am using a dual strength Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta team. I'm going to talk more once I finish my move. Alright, I'm using a Super Saiyan 4 uh, dual Vegeta team, so I'm going to be giving the Vegeta's family bonus to two out of my um, four other units. The two units being Rage Trunks and the EZA Strength Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta. And the other units are Jiren, a Vegito Blue, Pan. Actually, three units, sorry. Um, the idea for this is obviously surviving and tanking and doing a decent amount of damage. So I'm not going for flash, that's why I have a lot of support or healing type units. Support being, um, when I say support I mean tanking, sorry. Uh, Vegeta, I mean the Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta is the number one tank in Dokkan. Rage Trunks increases his tank ability as you lose health. And Pan is there for healing slash occasionally tanking if possible. Alright, so here I don't want to waste, I don't want to waste an attack on Raditz. Raditz is almost dead, I'll leave that to Pan. So it looks like after Raditz, I should set my sights on, in this turn, I'm going to set my sights on Vegeta. No, I'm going to I'm gonna attack Raditz. I mean, Nappa. You should subscribe. Hopefully that stuns him. And then I'll have Vegeta Blue hopefully not get hit with a super. And Pan can use an ultra super. Awesome. Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta is my... Yes! He's stunned. Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta is my number one unit. I literally got him number one when I started Dokkan. He was... He was a he was on my wish list as far as Dragon Ball characters. When Goku went Super Saiyan 3 and Dragon Ball Z, I was so, so upset that Vegeta never did. And I always wanted him to get that, and he does. And the first... Well, he doesn't. But the first unit that I get is him actually going Super Saiyan 3, which was huge for me, and it gave that unit so much more sentimental value. Alright, so one guy's stunned, the other one is stunned that his teammate is stunned. <laughs> okay. Now to target Vegeta and take him out for good. I actually don't think I'll take him out, but I will do a lot of damage. One of the keys to doing well on Super Battle Road, the type versions, is not actually playing based on types. Um, trying to, if you can assemble a team that not only follows the type requirement, but also exceeds that by introducing a new category, then you can have a greater stat boost going in, which will tip the scales in your favor. What I mean by that is that if you can get a strength team that is also a, like a pure Saiyans team, and you have a pure Saiyans lead, then you don't just have the units that fit the requirements for the Super Battle Road, but you also have ones that are being boosted by an even greater stat boost from a category leader instead of a type leader. Type leads don't give as much as category leads. This is a terrible, terrible, terrible layout for orbs. But the good news is that Jiren came in clutch with his stun. So I don't have to worry about actually killing him this turn. But I probably will. Oh, well, I got an additional, so this is done. And that's it. Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta. My most clutch summon ever in Dokkan. Ever. Okay. Vegeta will be in front. Will likely get hit by a few supers because knowing my luck, he won't counter. 
Pan is going to get hit by Jice and Berta. Jice! Berta! So I'll have Vegeta attack Berta first. I'll also have my Rage Trunk atta Rage Trunks attack. Oh wait, sorry, not 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 Birder. Jice. Jice. Attack Jice. And then Pan. Why don't you? Why don't you attack? Better. Counter. 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 Yes. Yes. Do your thing, Chicken Wing. Take him out. The reason why I had Pan attack Birder was because just in case Jace doesn't survive... Jace! I keep saying Jace because I'm so used to mimicking his accent. Um, I have two units attacking Jace. So in the likelihood that he dies, the targeting automatically goes to the first unit on the team. And I did not want Pan to attack Ginyu. I wanted Pan to attack either of the two units that's going to be attacking her. So I took a gamble. It kind of worked. But then again, I also got hit with a butt super. <laughs> All right, tank, go in the front. We need you there. Who shall we have you stun? We will have you stun Ginyu because Ginyu seems to be attacking a lot. I will have Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta take out Raccoon and you can continue to increase your stats by attacking Raccoon. If Raccoon dies before you attack him, you'll automatically attack Ginyu. So this works pretty well. I can't imagine ever doing a super battle rub without Vegeta, Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta. He is so amazing for super battle rub. He can stun you if you give him enough additionals. He has a high, ch I think he has a high chance of stunning. And he tanks everything. And he tanks them for 10 turns, I believe, after the EZA that he has. It's not like a super battle rub fight is going to last 10 turns. There's no way. So it, you'll never reach the situation where his tanking actually stops functioning. Oh, and it looks like we stunned Ginyu. Perfect. So I'll have... Looks like Jiren's going to get hit by Goldo and Ginyu. So I want to take out Goldo. So I'll have Vegeta attack Goldo. Trunks will increase his defense by 30% before getting hit by... Beta. So I'll have him attack... I'll have him attack Goldo just in case. And then Jiren! You can just sit pretty and do whatever you want. I would appreciate not getting hit in the face by another butt <laughs> super. Beta. Ooh, wrecked. <laughs> one hit KO. Ooh, and another one. Ooh, will he take him out? If he gets a crit, he might take him out. Take him out, take him out. Dun, 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 dun. <gasps> Nice. So he got a double defense bonus there. So that little attack by Beta didn't do anything. Oh, ho, 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 ho. we've got two active skills here. This is probably overkill, but whatever. Pan will use her active skill, increasing the attack of everybody by 33% for one turn. And then we will see final shine. The real fight begins now. No one can stop me now. Final shine now. Too many nows, dude. Too many nows. But we're done. Yes. Actually, you know what? Now that I think about it, I should have attacked with Pan. That was a dumb move on my part. I went for Flash instead of Substance. If Pan had attacked, that would have been a free heal, and then Vegeta could have finished him off. So that was stupid, actually. I'm sure some of you noticed that and are probably judging me. You definitely have every right to. I got carried away with my own hubris. And it will be my undoing. <laughs> and he just... He just accepted that I... <laughs> Biggest threat here is Turles. He seems to be attacking the most. So I'm going to have Turles go out first. So I'm going to have Vegeta attack. Will I get an Ultra Super if I do this? I think I will. Yes, I will. Rage Trunks will then... Tank, I'll have him also attack Turles just to be on the safe side. And then I will also have Yeah, Vegito. Everyone can attack Turles. I need Turles gone right away. 
Thankfully, with the Ultra Super for Vegeta, he massively increases his attack and defense for one turn. So if this next attack from whatever that dude's name is ends up hitting, not Super Attack, but regular, it'll do much less damage. See? It only did 70. Alright. Tanks. Not Ooh! <laughs> nice! Coming in clutch with the additionals! That's my boy. No! That was bad. Oh wait, he's dead. Turles is dead. Fantastic. Awesome. That went really well. Really, really well done. Alright, so here... I could have Pan be in the front. Oh yes, look at that clutch. Stun. Jiren did exactly what I needed him to do. He stunned everybody. So now Pan, you can... You can attack the dude in the front who's kind of almost dead. I'll have Vegeta attack, attack somebody else. That dude. And then Jiren, you can attack the Raisin guy and probably take him out. Tose! Jiren! Be Pan, do your thing! <laughs> and you stun. He'll be stunned for the next, uh, next round. Which is good, because she didn't kill him. Everything is coming up. Pan. Alright, Raisin. Are you about to be squashed? Oh, yes, you are, because, yes, anyone who's stunned immediately will get critical by Jiren. And since he attacked twice, you did. Wipe yourself off, man. You did. All right, Vegeta, you can tank in the first slot. Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta, you can finish that guy off. And Rage Trunks attack whoever you want. The first time I defeated this Super Battle Road, I believe it took me over an hour because it was around the time that I had first begun attempting Super Battle Road and I was so intimidated by these enemies that Every move that I made had to be calculated, recalculated, and then re-recalculated to make sure that I don't do anything wrong because I've had too many experiences where things have gone wrong on the final stage, on the final bit of health, on the final turn that has just completely deflated my confidence. So it's actually, it's, it's so traumatizing that if you've noticed in my other videos, I might actually be a little too scared or a little too precautious when it comes to certain enemies. Like, for example, my battle prep videos for the Dokkan Clashes. You might be one of those people that's wondering, why is he so, so terrified of this enemy when he finished him off in like two turns? It's because of Super Battle Road. Super Battle Road really takes a toll on you. <laughs> oh, it looks like we're wasting a Dokkan attack. Well, that's okay. Free heal. Dokkan attacks and Pan attack are the only things that I can use to heal, so this is fine. Bing, bang, bing, 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 dang it. I wonder how much this is going to do. But I'll tell you what, if I was almost dead right now, this would have been the greatest heal ever. 632, <laughs> 632,000 from Pan on top of a Dokkan attack. That is, I think that's a full heal. The Dokkan attack gives you 50% health, or 75% health, I think. And then 33% of the damage that you do from Pan's attack will then heal as well. So that's basically a full heal. So it looks like we're on the final fight, I think. I wasn't paying attention. Alright, unfortunately, no team stun from Jiren. That's okay. We've got most of the attack happening in the front, which means my tank, Vegeta, will go first. And I will hopefully get him to stun Bojack. If he can stun Bojack, then most of the damage this turn will be taken care of. I will also have my Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta, hopefully do as much damage as he can. Jiren, once again, is getting the short end of everything, and he will do nothing. Hopefully he'll get an additional, we'll see. This is one of my favorite movies in Dragon Ball Z, the Bojack movie. I really wish that at some point the Hera clan, which is the name of those guys, I really hope that they get a category or something more prominent um, because it just seems like they're kind of like Namekians, 
they all fit into one category. They all have link skills that correlate well with one another, but they don't have a good leader to, you know, galvanize the troops. So I hope these guys get something in the future. But the downside is that they only have five members, so it's not even enough for a full team. There's just got to be a way to make them more fun. Okay. Um, wow. A lot of the damage is coming from the backside. <laughs> I think I need to have Pan heal. Um, yeah, I, I need Pan to do some healing. So... Pan, you can attack slash maybe stun. Vegeta, I need you to take out Bojack. And yeah, I need Trunks to also take out Bojack if Vegeta can't do the job. Ow! That did a lot! Oh, that's not good. Come on, come on. Give me an additional. Additional! Dodge, 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 counter! Oh my god, counter that! That's it, I lost. There's no way I'm winning this. He just took two supers in the face, it's over. Oh my god, it's over.